Beal, you're chasing a story about our good friend Tara Dowdell celebrating women in business. What do you got? I'm chasing the glass ceiling in corporate America, why so many women are fighting it, and what does it take to overcome it. Mm. So to find out some more, I chased this to the Hilton Hotel in East Brunswick. There, I joined top women in their field on the red carpet. I started by speaking with Micheline. She is a chief corporate affairs officer and executive vice president for RWJ Barnabas Health. And I asked her, what are some of the challenges women face when it comes to becoming a CEO? Oftentimes, individuals are unaware of the vast talent pool that's available in order to promote them throughout the organization. And so to that end, oftentimes, women are not necessarily recruited for those top positions because, quite frankly, they're not on the radar uh, of those who are actually conducting the search. As CEO of a $2.4 billion company, when she walks in the room, people don't expect her. So she gave me a couple stories. She was the acting state treasurer for the state of New Jersey. Mm -hmm. There is a high back chair in the treasurer's inner office. It is reserved historically for the treasurer. I came into the room, I sat down in that particular chair, turned to our external guests and said, shall we begin? The individual who actually was not from the state of New Jersey, um, but instead a Texas oil lobbyist, uh, turned to me and said that he wanted to wait for the state treasurer to arrive. She got up left the room. I said, really? She said, yeah. Later, they came in the room to find me. Just really, they were shaken. They were like, what do we do? And I said, you tell them that the meeting is over because the treasurer was already there. She basically taught him a lesson, boom in your face. She said it was a lesson not just for him, but for everybody in the room to know that this is how you treat a woman and for guys to know, you watch out, women are on the rise. I also <laughs> spoke to Dorothy. She's a partner in a very big law firm in New Jersey. And she, I asked her, kind of, how do you manage? How, how do you break the glass ceiling? My battle gear, well, you can't go into a closing without lip liner and high heels. <laughs> she also told me the secret to staying young. You have to keep wearing your high heels, that's for sure. <laughs> um, wait, why? Why? Because you don't want to seem like an old lady wearing flats. <laughs> uh, she, she also said, <laughs> I'm, I'm following her advice. I, just, just, I couldn't help but look and notice. <laughs> um, she also also said that some of the challenges women face that's particular to the law field is that to become a partner you have to log a lot of hours in the office. When you're competing against either other women that aren't having childbearing years and not taking off of work, when your time is a, comp a, a huge component to your evaluation, that's a factor. A lot of women just have to make that choice. And the other spectacular woman that I spoke to is the mayor of Camden, Dana Red, and I asked her how what are some of the challenges for women in the political field? The challenge that women typically face is waiting to be asked to run for public office, you know, where men feel entitled to leadership positions. And uh, I think women don't need to be uh, afraid of stepping up and stepping out there. You can really tell the leadership from Tara Dowdell when she pulls these people together in just the conversations that they're having. I, what I didn't hear in any of these conversations that these women had with you was pointing a finger and blaming men, pointing a finger and blaming the system. It was all about personal empowerment. Be really great at your job, I would think would be the first thing you'd do. Be on time, work ethic, effort. <laughs> yeah. There you go. It doesn't take talent.